you're coming with me to the thrift store to find some things to flip in this video. This mirror reminds me of a mop, but I kind of like it. This looks interesting, but I don't even know what this is. Well, <laughs> whatever it is, we do know it's broken. This is kind of cool. I'm not a fan of shiny things, but maybe I can do something with this. Two dollars? Let's get it. Okay, how beautiful is this gold antiqued patinaed bowl that I found? And I think it was originally $56, but I'm getting it for $12. Yes, thrift store. Yes, please. I'm looking for a piece of furniture to flip, but $500 might be a little much. It's a trumpet. It looks like a trumpet. I'm getting this. Oh, this would look so cool in a little boy's room or maybe your husband's man cave. Super cool. I went back and forth on if I wanted to buy this pot or not for about 30 minutes. The second I walked away, someone bought it and it was an instant regret. I finally think I know what love is. I'm obsessed with this trunk and I had to have it. I had a great idea to flip this into an apothecary card catalog, but 175 was kind of high for me. I don't know why I do these things, but the Sagittarius in me just had to open this refrigerator and it almost okay. fell on me. Someone who's supposed to love me laughed at me. I scored these six vintage door pulls for $8. I found these crates of tiles that I'm absolutely in love with and I'm about to renovate my kitchen and I'm thinking that these could possibly work. I think we found something. Finally, something that's not going to cost me $200 that I can flip. Let's get this. The drawer still works. I'm not sure what's going on here, but. Hi, homies. Welcome back to the Disaster Network. We have a thrift flip video. I have been really wanting to do a furniture restoration where I take a piece of furniture that's aged and make it look a little bit better. I found this piece. There's really nothing that special about it. It has drawers and the drawers still work. I really thought that I could give this piece some personality. Let me change the color, add some legs, make it look a little more MCM, mid-century modern because that's all the rage apparently right now and bandwagon. Let's see how I can change this up and make it look a little more interesting. I also found that piece behind me and I had absolutely no idea what it was until I went on Facebook Marketplace looking for a piece of furniture and I found almost the exact same thing that I bought. And I was like, this is a sign. And it's actually a towel drying rack, apparently. That's also going to be done in the flip, 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 flip. I paid eight bucks for it. I made a few, I just want to get out of the house, thrift store, missions. I found these really pretty brass candle holders. I am obsessed with brass. I don't know why, but it just, makes me feel historical. I paid $2 for the tall one and $1 for the little mini one. I found this one. It looks like a trumpet. And to be honest, that's just how easy I am to please. And I paid three bucks. Oh look, more brass. Surprise, surprise. I found this wall sconce and I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. It's like a fan shape and it has the placement for a tapered candle. I'm so into like the moody dark tones like that. I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. I paid $4. I also picked up this bowl and it's a wire bowl that I'm obsessed with. I think it's beautiful just as a bowl on its own, but I'm going to be flipping this in the video and I paid $2 for it. Skirt, skirt. I found this really cute, I think this is a bund cake. Bund, 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 bund cake. I have a really cool idea for this if 
I can pull it off. And I paid a buck 25. Now, if you have not seen my last thrift haul video that I did a very long time ago, if you haven't seen that video, you can click the card right there and it will take you to the coffee table hack that I use all the time when I go to the thrift store. I think I overdid it this time. I picked up some coffee table books. They all came from different places, but I paid a dollar for some of these. Look how pretty the cover of this one is. So this would go on the top of like your coffee table display stack. I just got a ton of them. And because they were a dollar, I was like, dollar dollar bills, yo. How freaking cute. I mean, I was actually redoing my porch, spoiler, and I was trying to come up with creative things to do to make it look less <laughs> boring. I went into the thrift store and found these tiles. They're like stonewashed. They were 20 cents each and they had like these huge crates of them. Last but not least, we have this old gal right here. I have been wanting to restore a trunk for so long. I even saw a trunk a few weeks ago that I fell in love with. When I saw this one in the thrift store, I was like, gotta have it. It didn't have a price on it and I was so annoyed because I was like, this guy's gonna tell me this trunk is like $200 and I'm gonna be pissed. I asked him the price and it was $10. Excuse me? Wrap it up, Lego. I'm gonna have so much fun restoring this trunk. It's not in the best shape, obviously, but that's the fun of it. I'm definitely going to be keeping this. If I could put a trunk in every room in my house, guess what? Call me Trunk Mama because I would do it. <laughs> okay, that's it. I think that's all I got. Are you excited? We're about to thrift flip. Lighting will change your life. Good lighting and moody lighting are like filters for your life. To do this project, you're going to need a pendant light. These things are the most cost-effective things that you could find at your hardware store or online. I got the plug-in one and it also has the switch on it. You're also gonna need a light bulb. And if you have not discovered what an Edison light bulb can do for your mood, you're welcome. You're going to need some glue and you're going to need whatever vessel it is that you decided to use. In my case, a thrifted bowl. Let's do it. We're upcycling this retro deco style wire bowl into a renter friendly wall sconce. Prep your surface and use your safety equipment responsibly. First, I spray painted my bowl and pendant light a flat antique brass. Just to be safe, I let this dry overnight. The light bulb world is a galaxy of options. I'm personally obsessed with anything that gives off a warm hue, like cozy vintage lighting or amber glass. Depending on the style of your bowl or vessel, you may have to make some minor modifications for the cord to hang. With this bowl, I simply bent the wire wide enough for the plug and switch to fit through. Depending on the bulb size, you want to position the bulb so it fits into the concave of the bowl. Then, glue your pendant light while applying moderate pressure to ensure a secure bond. Here's what happened to that little silver-plated $2 thrifted bowl. If you're renting your home, this is an easy way to add moody, bedside, or entryway lighting. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't like magazines displayed in my house. I don't like how they start to dog air. They get a little, you know, after they've been out for a while, but you don't have to worry about that with coffee table books. Put them all over your house. Make a library in the bathroom. Who cares? For this project, you might have to buy a few extra things to get this done. I'm going to be using binding cane as the functional and design element. I'm going to be using this to bind the sides and the bottoms so that the books don't fall out. Let's make a coffee table book rack. First, I decided just how tall I wanted the rack to be, and then I cut off the extra length that I didn't need with my mini circular saw. Once the length was what I wanted, I went in with my Allen wrench and I tightened everything up. Are you even surprised that I'm painting this black? But of course, choose a color that suits your vibe. Okay, are you ready for the fun? 
I weaved this binding cane on both sides to give this project some personality and fun function. Up, over, under, down, under, over. I turned it into a song and it's been stuck in my head for three days. Good luck. This random towel drying thingamabob is now something I will actually use. And for about $20, I'm pretty obsessed with it. My coffee table books have a new home. Hi, homies. So we're going to be jumping right in and starting to work on this dresser. The first thing I did was just give it a little bit of a clean with some TSP. And then I removed the drawer that was in here. I am going to now look to see how I can remove the kick, which is this part, because it's not in the best shape. It looks a little raggedy. And I'm going to be adding legs to this dresser, just to jazz it up a little bit. I'm going to see what type of screws are holding the kick together and just remove them with the screwdriver and see what happens. So the screws were absolutely not holding this together. It's time to bring out the muscle. The laser guide on my circular saw is probably one of the most important things to me right now. I was so happy to get rid of that raggedy kick. Next, I removed the knobs with a flathead screwdriver and I kept them for another project. To be honest, I actually liked how the nightstand looked without legs. Okay, let's make some DIY dust. The previous paint job on this nightstand was not the best, so I knew that I needed to remove the paint, smooth it out, and prime it again before I painted it the color that I wanted. It was at this point I did not want to paint this anymore. How beautiful is this wood? It wasn't all in this condition, so let's prime. I went back and forth with the idea of not adding legs, but I already ordered these, so we're using them. I removed the poly coat from the legs with my palm sander so that I can stain them a darker tone. We're making this nightstand as moody as possible. Once I finally decided on the hardware, I went back to my local hardware store, picked up the paint and everything that I needed to give this nightstand a moody makeover. This nightstand turned out to be such a fun flip and it is the perfect size for a pop of color at your bedside, in your office space, or next to your comfy couch. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching homies and subscribing and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Until the next disaster video.